Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mary. If you're a first time viewer, welcome to my channel. If you've been with me before, thank you for returning. I so appreciate you watching my videos. Although I am not sponsored by anyone, I do this totally for fun. And just to share what I either buy on different um, stores or online shops and also unbox or unpackage diamond paintings, as well as doing a little bit of um, show and tell through the progress of some of them. And then of course, I try to do all my finishes to give you an idea of what the painting looks like after it's finished. So I hope everyone's having a good day and I'm going to get started first of all with a Timu haul. This is going to be a long video. Um, because I have quite a few things to share with you, as well as three diamond paintings, which I'll do those at the end. So my first thing I'm going to show you are some shipping supplies. And these are little bags. They're pink. And I think they're four inches by eight inches. And Timu sells the whole pack of 12 for under $2. So I don't have the prices handy, but I am going to list all the links in my description below for those of you that want to take a look for yourself or go directly to the product. So these are bubble packages. They're actually smaller than I thought, but they're good for jewelry. Um, I'll put my glasses up to them so you can see the size. So they're, they're not too big. And I don't know if I need this light, so I think I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off for right now. Maybe a little bit of light so you can see a truer color. And so that's the first item. Um, I also got some baggies. These baggies um, are not as thick as I had hoped that they would be, but I'll still put them to use. I was going to put my diamonds in them at first my leftover drills, and then I thought I would use them for jewelry, but they are pretty squarish, and I'm going to measure them because I don't remember what they are, but they're going to fit in my binder for um, people buy them for their, uh, okay, it's two and a half inches width-wise, and in length, it's three and a half. So they're two and a half by three and a half. So I was going to put these in the binder with leftover drills. Then I changed my mind and I was going to put them in this binder that I showed in my last video with jewelry. So I have some jewelry in here right now. Um, but now I'm thinking I'm not going to use it for jewelry because as you can tell, just a couple pages that I put jewelry in it's starting to really get too full. And so I'm back to the storage for the drills again. And um, there's, there's a lot of sheets and there's four sections, four pockets to a sheet. So anyway, I bought quite a few bags of these. I think I have 500, 100 came in a package. So, and like I said, they're, they're not really that sturdy, but the Ziploc is pretty strong, and that's one thing that I definitely need is a Ziploc top that doesn't come loose and spill everything out. So one, two, three, four, five. So I got 500 of these baggies. Um, the next thing I got were some labels. These are removable labels, so I thought these would be good for a lot of purposes. And I've already started using them on my drills, the label. But I thought they would be really good for freezer. You could put the date on them if you've got stuff in the freezer that you're not going to use for a while. And they come in a roll, and I think there's 200 in this roll. And the length on these are, I think, two inches. Yeah, they're two inches by one inch so they would probably work okay on this size bag if you wanted to label something i'll show you it would probably 
Actually, I'm going to put a label on there because I can always use it. So it fits fine. So that would work. And they're supposedly removable. Let me just see. Oh, yeah. So they are removable. I like removable labels as long as they have a good sticky because sometimes I want to reuse my containers or my bags and then the label is hard to peel off. So that's a win for me. The next thing I'm going to show you are some more labels. I, I kind of did a lot of label buying this time. So I have both the round containers and the Tic Tac containers. So I got 200 of the round and these are supposed to be removable, but I haven't tried them and I'm really hoping they are. And these are the square ones for the Tic Tac shaped containers and I got 200 of each and I thought they were going to come on a roll but it's okay they come on the sheets and um so that's that and then I got I didn't show this I forgot but I got these the last order and they're pre-numbered and they're also all the DMC numbers are in this pack so there's like 400 and something numbers in the DMC codes. And so I bought two sets and they're color coded. I'm sure you all have seen these before. And um, then they also have number zero, I think, through 99 for those that you want to label in a different way besides the DMC numbers. So <clears throat> These, I think, were less than $1.50. Um, they go up and down in price, and I think I caught it when it was on sale. And I think I got them for like $1.37, I want to say. Okay, where's the opening? Oh, here it is up here. Okay, so moving along, I wanted to show you some other things before I get to the jewelry. I also have an off canvas that I want to show you. I forgot about that, but I see it laying over there. Okay, so I got I have um, release papers, and they're four by six, I believe. Yeah, four by six. Well, I saw these release papers. I think there's 50 in this pack, and they're larger, and I thought these would be good when I want to do larger sections at a time. Now I notice they're different. They're, they're real slippery on this side, but they're not slippery on this side. So I'm going to test the corner of the bottom of one of my diamond paintings to make sure I'm putting it on the right side because there will be a problem if you stick this on the wrong side, you might not be able to get it to release. So I haven't tried it yet. But um, always test it out on a little section before you just, you know, plaster them all over. So these are eight, what are these, five by seven? Well, let me measure. These are, oh, okay. So eight and a half by six. So these are eight and a half by six. The other ones were four by six. So nice size. Um, then I, I've been trying different phone holders and I think this one is really going to work and I just last night read the reviews. Usually I read reviews before I buy something but I think these were 30, excuse me, 37 cents. So I just said, well, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So you can adjust it to any size phone and I already put the sticky on the back. So what, what you do is you put them, okay, here's the sticky side, the adhesive. So you peel this paper off. I already peeled the bottom part off, so it's stuck to the, to the piece itself. But when you peel this piece of paper off, it's sticky. And what you want to do is you want to put this somewhere, if you want to use it in your car, you don't have to, you could use it anywhere. I saw one lady put it on the side of her dresser that was next to her bed. Um, so, you know, it's up to you, but you can have your phone up and down portrait, or you could put it further away for your phone to be set 
on its side, landscape. And my phone, I have an Android. It fits perfectly inside these little pockets. And the reviews were really, really good on these. So I'm not sure exactly in my car where I'm going to put it. But once I have it in my car, um, I'll do a video of it so you can see it. And they have different colors, too. Purple, yellow, green. Um, I got it in black. I wanted gray, but I didn't see gray. Uh, bright yellow. I don't remember what else, but a few different colors. Okay, now I'm getting into some diamond painting supplies. Oh, wait, before I do that, I want to show you some jewelry. Okay, so I would say I'm happy with about 50% of this stuff. And what did I do with my ring? Okay, the first thing I want to show you, this is, it's 925. It says it's sterling silver. I've been wearing it. I wore it overnight last night. I just got this in the mail yesterday and three orders came in two bags. So um, I have to say the shipping was really quick on the last order, probably no more than seven days. It might have even been five days, but I had everything and I have all these clothes behind me that I'm going to show you. So anyway, this is the ring. It's a heart. And, you know, if I turn my phone the other way, that's when I get very good close-ups. But when I have the phone, when you click it to face yourself, like you want to check your teeth or something in your phone um, on the camera, then it, up close, it doesn't focus. And I have it on autofocus and I've tried it on manual. But when I flip it back around, like I'm going to take a picture of something or film something, you know, across the way, it focuses really well. So anyway, this is the ring. I got it in a size six. It's pretty dainty and it fits perfect. It is true to size. Now, I'm not sure if it is really 925, but I took a magnet to it and it didn't stick to the magnet. So it's not an alloy metal nickel because, well, nickel doesn't stick to a magnet, but a lot of those mixed metals, um, silver plated stuff is just going to stick to the magnet like nothing else. I mean, and most of these necklaces stick to the magnet, but that's okay. I just can't have anything, um, metal in my ears. It has to be gold, silver, stainless, which is hypoallergenic or, um, silver. So the first one I have right now is a, gold plated or gold metal necklace. It doesn't look like the picture. It's okay. It's kind of goldy, but not as bad as some of their gold jewelry. And I'll give you a close up if I can, as best I can. It's got like a cubic zirconia fake crystal in the middle. So you can kind of get the idea. The chain is probably about 18 inches. The back of it looks like that. There is a little hole so that the light can shine through. And then the side is like that. So that one. And all these were less than $1.98. I think the most expensive one that I got was $1.98, and I'll let you know when I get to that one. This one right here, I like. It's kind of cheesy, um, and it does look like the picture. I mean, I kind of knew what I was getting, and I did review the comments, but I thought, you know what? I've got some purple and uh, colors that are in this, like a maroon, that would really look pretty with this. So it looks like that. It's just a swirl kind of design, kind of abstract. It's a uh, silver color. It does stick to a magnet, not the pendant, but the chain. The chain is thin. Um, let's see. 
And it has a little extender. I would say it's probably 17 or 18 inches without the extender. Um, I have longer chains that I might put this on because it's got a really nice size bail, if you can see. So any thickness of chain will definitely fit through that bail. So all in all, I like this. Um, I definitely am going to wear it. For as long as I can until it tarnishes. Um, the next thing, and you know this jewelry is going to tarnish. Um, if you keep it in airtight places, uh, it, it could last longer. But the oils on your skin and the environment do change, um, you know, silver plated stuff and, and alloy metals and so forth. So for the price you pay for it, if you get, you know, several uses or a year use out of it, it's worth it. If you like it. Now, this one was the most expensive one, and I'll show you the pendant in the middle. But the chain is nice, it's kind of a twisted silver chain, and I would say this one is 18 inches. Now, the pendant is heavy and it is large and it is kind of bold, but I thought it would be the perfect sweater necklace. So, that is. It's kind of like a log, like a rectangle. And there's the side view. Lots of different colors. It's really colorful. The back is just flat. It also has a pretty nice sized bail. Well, actually, it's just a loop. Whoops, take it over here. Well, no, actually, it is a bail. I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at here. So you can switch the chains out, but it it seems very well made. This stone is not going to fall out of here. It's in there really securely, and um, it is pretty. It's it's got some weight to it. Okay, so. I got to hold a puppy today at work. One of the patients that came in to reschedule his appointment brought his Yorkie Poodle. It's part Yorkie, part Poodle. And he was holding him and he was trying to talk to us and talk to the doctor came out. And I just ran over there and grabbed that little black puppy and held on to him. And then the phone started ringing. And my coworker was like pointing to the phone and I ran with the puppy into the waiting room because there was no way I was going to give him up so soon. It was kind of funny. She did answer the phone though. But um, anyway, okay. So the next thing I've got, and I think these are going to work. They don't stick to the magnet. Um, they say they're 925 silver. And I am probably going to put the rubber, it's earrings, um, tiny, tiny. I mean, you think these are tiny. I thought these might be bigger, but it's okay. It's okay. So these are little hearts, cervix, cubic zirconia. They are very sparkly, though, for being the size they are. And I'm going to put the rubber backs on them because these little teeny tiny backs that come with it, like, there, there's no way. They're going to be too hard to take on and put on and take off or whatever. I'm going to try to hold these right side up. I think I got them right side up. So these are little tiny hearts. Oh, that one's upside down. You can see how tiny they are, though. Um, I still can't take these studs out yet. But I think I have two more weeks. But anyway, these are super sweet, don't stick to the magnet, so I'm thinking they might be really silver or they might be stainless steel. But stainless steel usually isn't bright silver, and these are pretty bright. It's more of like a, um, a not a dull silver, but more of a gray silver. And uh, so these are double bagged, I'll put them back in there. The other pair of earrings, that I got, and I think these are the last earrings, the rest are necklaces, but um, these were kind of cute, and I thought, well, I'm going to take my chance. Everyone said that they don't match. Well, I didn't expect them to match because it's one of these abstract type things, but I thought they were really cute, 
And again, I tested the magnet to them and they do not stick to the magnet. And the earring wires are really nice. Um, they're sort of this design. Okay. And these are the earrings. And I just like the colors. I love blues and greens. So I thought that they would really go with quite a few things that I have. I have a lot of um, shirts that are solid colors. So you could wear orange or yellow, blue or green, um, white or black. And then they have like this little, um, it's sort of like a blue crystal. And it, I'm, I apologize if you can't really make out any detail this way. I was going to turn the camera the other way, but then I wouldn't be in the camera. And today I felt like being in the camera. Some days I don't, but I thought, no, let me be, let me be bold and be in the camera here. So we have to sacrifice one or the other. Either you can't see me, but you can see everything really well, or yeah. So either you get to see everything in detail that I'm showing you, but you can't see me or you see me and you can't see things in detail. And I guess I could switch the phone around, but then I'm always afraid it's going to fall off the tripod. I don't like the way that my phone is hold, uh, you know, being held on a couple of times. It's just like popped right off. So I don't like to mess with that. The next couple of things I've got for you jewelry wise are pendants and this one is really for a man that I'm going to show you next but I'm going to wear it um, because I like it and it will look good with a sweater it's a long necklace and I will take it out it's got a ball chain no it doesn't no 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 it doesn't it looks kind of like it I'll show you the chain up close um, so let me get you, I should have wore a solid top, but this is what I wore to work today. So, okay. So there's the cross. If you can see that it's a cutout of Jesus's face with a crown of thorns in case it doesn't look like it in the, and it's really shiny. Maybe it's this side. Let me try the other side because I can't really tell. But in any case, that's what it is. And you can take a look at it um, in Timu when I put the link. The chain is really nice. It's a thick chain. And um, it's just a, a thick link. It's kind of squarish. I don't know what you would call it, a cable chain or something. And it does have a lobster claw clasp. So this one, I'm sure, is at least 22 inches. 13 one way. It's 26 inches long. I didn't know it was that long. I knew I could flip it over my head. But so here is my 19 inch necklace and then this one. So I like and um, again, I don't think it was more than $1.98. And what do I have next? My hair is a wreck. Okay. So next I have another cross. This one I was disappointed in because it looks so beautiful in the picture. And I know the pictures tend to be a little bit off sometimes, but it just looks really cheesy. I don't know how it's going to show up on here, but it's got pink and gray stones and white stones. And I think my ring is in the way there. So, I mean, it's okay. It's not like something that I want to return. The chain is pretty long. I would say the chain is maybe 19 inches. Let's see. Now the chain is 20 inches, and that's not with the extender. So it does come with a nice long chain. And I'll give you another close-up. I know my close-ups are, uh, 
yet to be desired there. Okay. Let's see. Where am I? All right. Okay. If you hear little rustling noises back there, my little finches, especially the one, he loves to play in his paper. The paper that's on the bottom of his cage that I change every day. He gets down there and he starts chewing on it and getting underneath it and playing hide and seek with the other one. And just busy, busy, busy all the time in that paper. And when I was finishing my diamond painting, I was sitting next to him. And I was like, okay, enough. Because it like I had to turn the TV on because like all that paper noise was driving me crazy after a while. But anyway, this is the next one. It's a pendant as well. It's got three crystals of some sort. Big zirconias or, you know, white crystal, something or other. But it's in silver, and the back of it looks like this. So the front is like that, the side and the back. And there's like little holes for light to shine through. So that's pretty good. And then the chain isn't quite as long, and it's very dainty. It's a thin chain, so I'm probably going to change, excuse me, change it out. And it looks like there's plenty of room to do so. Um, the bale is, is pretty large, as you can see. So that one is good. What did I do with my little package that I took it out of? I don't know. I'll just set it right here. Now, the next one I got, this one, what did they say about this one? This one they said was 925 silver. But when you pay under $2 for something, you can almost bet that it's not really 925. This one has the same chain, same length, very dainty, but this is the little necklace or pendant. It's a pearl. And it's got I keep putting it over my ring and there. So it's a pearl. It's got little tiny stones around half of the top if that's coming through at all. And um, at the bottom, it's just a like a silver twist design. Oops. Let me get it. Don't look at my nails. I have an appointment tomorrow. Okay. Um, so that's that. It also has a nice size bail. Change out and put a chain through. And um, but I, I highly doubt that it is. Oh, and I think it did stick to a magnet. I should have brought. Oh, I have a magnet right here. Aha. Let's see. Okay, so the chain isn't sticking. Nope, nothing is sticking except for the clasp, which maybe this is, maybe this is stainless. It's kind of bright. I don't know, but anyway, it's not sticking to the magnet. So that's probably a good sign. Maybe it's hypoallergenic. But um, the next one I have to show you is another necklace. And it has a clear stone, but it's a different shape. See if I can get this open. Where's the opening? Where's the opening? How did I open this? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this one is a twisty chain. So it's got the twisted chain. It's thin and no extender, but lobster claw clasp. And this is the front. Go over here. Maybe I should use this hand. Okay. So that's the front. It's kind of in a square setting. It's a round stone with little stones all the way around it. And then the top part that looks like the bale, which is the bale, has little teeny tiny crystals. 
Now the back, and it's very bright and shiny. This necklace that I wear all the time I got from Timu, and it's still shiny. And I've had it, I mean, like I haven't had it a year, but I probably had it for three or four or five months. And it's it's really staying nice. So the back of it is open, so it lets light in. And um, it's pretty nice. I think for, you know, less than $2, it's not bad. The chain is very short, so I am definitely going to put another chain on it and plenty of room to do that, as you can see. So that one, and we're winding down. I've got a couple big ones. I've got a couple more pendants, and big pendants. Not sure how I feel about them, but I'll let you see them anyway. But before I get to that one, I have two of these, and I have them in two different colors. I have them in blue, and I have it in white. So I'm going to show you the blue one, and then I'm not really going to, going to take the white one out of the package, since you'll know it's exactly like this, except it's white. So this one has an extender chain. It's a very bright silver chain, and it's this kind of teardrop shape pendant. And it's not small. I mean, it's not large by any means, but it's a pretty nice size. And it's like an aquamarine blue, maybe sapphire. I think it's more, or topaz, I mean. I think it's more aquamarine, maybe. I mean, I know it's not a real gemstone. So the side of it looks like that, and the back is open, and it has a nice size veil and a very dainty chain. So the white one that I got that looks like it, I'm keeping it in the package, but there it is. So it's exactly like this blue one, only, of course, white or clear. Oh, yeah, and it's thick. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two at once on this particular item. Okay. Let's see what else. I also got two, okay, so I also got two lengths of this chain. This is a Figaro. I used to sell jewelry, and I used to make jewelry. So Figaro chains were like one of the most popular chains when I was making necklaces and stuff. So I'm only going to show you the longer one. I got an 18 inch and a 20 inch, and this is the length of a Figaro. And I know many of you know that, but um, it's very silvery. It's bright. And it does not stick to the magnet. They did say this was stain or not stainless. They did say this was stir um nine two five sterling silver and possibly, but it was just inexpensive. Um even if you see a nine two five stamp on things, doesn't necessarily mean that that is on the up and up. So Anyway, I got two of these. I think they were 79 cents each or 74 cents each. So anyway. Okay. And then the last two things I have in the jewelry, I bought two of them, but I got one in silver and I got one in gold. So I'll show you the one I like the least. So this gold is like way over the top gold to me. It's, they had it also in like a brass color. But I thought, well, let me just try it. So it's a real, so the chain especially is like a super, you can't really see it probably in here, but it's a super yellowy gold color. The pendant is kind of interesting. Um, it'll work. I, I mean, it's long. So definitely a good sweater necklace. And I like stuff that slips over the head and stuff that doesn't have a clasp that's kind of tickling your neck. Uh, huge veil. 
So you can even put a bigger chain on it, a fatter one, but this chain is perfectly fine. So I got gold in this, I call it like a snowflake, but it's more of like a flower, I guess, but almost like a poinsettia design. It reminds me of the holidays, and that's pretty much when we wear sweaters, is around Christmas into New Year's and a little bit into February, and then put the sweaters away because come March, not going to need them. Um, today is really warm. We do have a nice breeze, but I'm telling you, still hot here. Okay, so the next one, and I know some people up north are getting snow, so maybe some of the cool weather will trickle down and give us a little bit of relief from the heat. But um, I'm not complaining. I like hot. I, I mean, I'd rather be hot than cold. So, and I'm glad people, there's people that like different things or everybody would be in one state or one side of the country. So this is the silver one. I like this one better. Um, it doesn't look so fakey. I mean, it is costume jewelry, fashion jewelry, but um, it also is the same length, the nice length. And it's pretty. I mean, I like it. I'm glad I was only going to get one and I was torn beside, you know, a decision wise on should I get the gold? Should I get the silver? I have so much silver. Let me get the gold. And then I thought, you know, I don't like the gold. You know, I like this chain. I mean, I like this design. So that's why I got both. And I was glad I did. So then again, I'm going to use this binder, I think, for my leftover drills. I'm going to scrap the idea of jewelry, and I'll just see how it goes from there. I might think of something else. Who knows? Okay, I found my other bag. Okay, now we're going to get to some diamond supplies. I only have one thing for diamond supplies, and then I have diamond paintings. So I ordered two of these because they offered it to me for $3.27. So I'm making a goodie bag right now. I'm going to do a drawing when I hit 400 uh, subscribers. And I've got a box in my room and I'm filling it up. I've got so much stuff. I'm thinking that I might do two prizes or I might do what I, what actually what I'm going to do is one at 400 and one at 500 because I just have so much stuff. But anyway, I got two of these. I'm going to use one, but I'm going to put the other one in my goodie bag. So it's a zipper case, hard, it's a hard case. And inside you have the TikTok, TikTok, ugh, TikTok containers, which look like this. They're not real large. They're kind of on the small size, but nice, all the same. They have little slots that they fit into so they don't wobble all around. I like that. They all stay in their correct positions. And then you have all these supplies up here. You have the straightener or the, you know, the flattener for the cover sheets. You have a funnel, just all kinds of supplies. I haven't actually taken it out, but I will. I won't take it out of the bag. Oh, you've got a big tray, nice big size tray with the spout. Then you have a smaller tray. Well, let me just take it out. So there's your funnel. You know, of course, it pops open. You have three pens. You've got a, it looks like a five-placer, an eight-placer, maybe it's a nine-placer, and a three-placer. So you got those. And on the other side, of course, single. So that's pretty cool. And then that. And then inside this tray, you've got a pair of tweezers. They're not real good. I mean, they're okay. You got a pack of baggies, a squishy, a small tray the size of a green boat. You can see the difference in the sizes here. You've got another squishy, and you've got a plate of wax, which is pretty big, two, four, six, eight. And then you also have, I didn't know it came with these, but you've got little stickers for the top of the Tic Tac containers, really small. That's kind of neat. And then, of course, your big tray. So 
Not bad for supplies. Not bad at all. Put all this back as best I can. Baggy and that. So that all comes with this case. So this is going to be one of the giveaways because I have a few of these. And it was, like I said, it was very inexpensive. Um, I have diamond paintings. I have other supplies. I have sealer. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff. I may even throw in some jewelry, too. So you'll see whoever is lucky to win it. Okay, so I'm going to do the off canvas first. And then I have a large painting. When I say large, I think it's uh, it's not that large. It's a 45. What is it? It's a 35 by 45. Then I have a 30 by 40. And then I have a 30 by 30. But this off canvas came just like this. So you, as you can see, it's coasters. It was two dollars and I think twenty-seven cents. I would send it back if it was more than that because I'm not really happy with the coasters. But I feel like coming with this, which is around two dollars, and then having all these crystal drills that come with it, then I feel like you know what. I've got my money's back. I got my money back. So the problem I have with these coasters are two things. One is it's very raw and rough. So the edges, you have to be very careful because they didn't sand them down and they're very rough. And then the pictures are cut off. So these are sea creatures or nautical or sea life. And so this is one of the pictures. And as you can see, I... I can't really, unless maybe when the gemstones are on it, it'll look more like whatever it's supposed to be. Now that I'm looking in the camera, it looks like a little guy above a larger one. So it looks like probably, I don't know if that's a shark or a whale, but as you can see, the tail's cut off and a little bit, it might be a dolphin. That's probably, see, I don't even know what it is. And the back, they're wooden. So I would put cork on the back of this and I would file this down with an emery board so it wasn't so rough. But there is a plastic on top that you have to peel off and it's sticky underneath. The next one, I don't know if I, you guys even want to see these, but this is an octopus. It's cut off as well. And maybe that's how it's supposed to be, but that's just not my preference. Um, this one's okay. Only the starfish is cut off, but the main focal point is fine. This one is a shell. It's okay. I mean, everything is off center or everything is just kind of, I don't know. This one I like, the seahorse. The colors are kind of muted on here, but I think with the crystals, It'll give it some pop. This one's okay. I think it goes that way. Turtle. And the last one, well, how many were there? Three. There's eight. And then a jellyfish, I guess. But you know what? For two bucks, I'm not going to complain or send this back. And they're all, they're not special shapes. It looks like they're all round crystals of different colors. And there is no legend, but I believe that it would probably be, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's numbers in them. So I thought maybe you had to go by color only. But it looks like there's numbers. Okay, so my last three items that I have to show you. Oh, I forgot to put these back in the case there. Okay. So the last three things I have to show you. This is going to be the first diamond painting. And here is a look at all the pretty drills. And they are bagged. So, of course, we like that. We have some bright yellow. And you'll see why I pulled out the yellow, or I mentioned the yellow, because this has yellow, but it had, well, 
actually it has black, black and white. I love this. This is Magpies. And Bewitched Cat showed this a while ago. I think she has two of these, one with one magpie, and then she has this big one. And um, I'm going to turn this off for a minute. And I just love the black and white contrast over the top of the, you know, the poppy color and the blue and the greens. Here's a close up. And here's the size. So the actual picture is 30 by 40. So that's a really nice size, an actual 30 by 40 for the image. I like my birds, you know that. The next one is an animal and it's stuck. Okay, so the drills on this one are in the train, as we call it. There's some grays, some blacks. Over here we've got some color a little bit. There's some pink and a little bit of blue. In the middle we've got some red and some dark colors. And you'll see it's not a real bright. It's got some pops of color. But it's this tiger, and I like it. I mean, it's simplistic in a sense. There's not a whole lot going on. I mean, there are the flowers, and um, but I think it's going to turn out nice. I like the nose, the coloring, the white tiger, the light, light. I think it's pale blue eyes. Yeah, I think the eyes are going to be gorgeous. It has 22 colors, which by the way, the magpies have 22 colors. So both of these have 22 colors. The stick on the magpie is awesome. The stick on this tiger, I don't remember when I, yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so this, this is him and the drill field is clear. The dark areas have the light color letters or numbers or symbols um, some color blocking in spots not big large areas but there are sections there is some in the background but i think all in all it's going to be a nice painting to work on And the last one, I'm going to show you a completion also. I'm going to take my phone over to it. But this last one is our Blessed Mother. It's a full round. All these are round. This one's a full round. So there's a white background, which I'm not crazy about. But it has um, 18 colors. And the image is circular. It is a 30 by 30. And it looks pretty good, not great, but I can definitely work on it without difficulty. The stick on it is good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. And after the orca whales, all of the stick is good compared to what I dealt with with that um, Diamond Art Club painting. I'll go into it in a minute. I'm not going to say anything about it just yet but anyway so here are the colors for that one for the blessed mother and there are some pretty colors in here i'm trying to avoid this light which is in my way okay so there are some pretty colors if you can see through the cellophane and um and it, it's kind of got like a stained glass look around it not not major stained glass, but around the edges here, it reminds me. So that's everything from my haul. Now I'm going to take you over to my completion. And I'm going to try to do this without disturbing. Oh, let me. 
So I just put adhesive on the back of it so that with the weight of it, it's not going to start to kind of flip or buckle. And the reason um, is because it's so heavy. I mean, very heavy. It's it's uh, three foot by two foot painting. I can't even get it all in there. And you saw me probably working on this. And I have contacted Diamond Art Club because everything was fairly well, with the exception of popping diamonds because so many of them have hollow backs. I had a lot, a lot, a lot of hollow backs um, where there's like a big dimple. And um, so a lot of junk drills, I call those junk drills because it's hard to get them to stick. But the whole entire canvas was not that sticky. But when I got up above the head of these whales up in the sky, I had to use two-sided tape in some places. I'll kind of get close to where I had to do it um, because the diamonds get really uneven. And there's nothing I could do to straighten it out. I'm trying to find that spot right now. Of course, I probably won't be able to find it now that I'm looking for it. But anyway, then the two-sided tape wasn't really working well for me. So then I came over to this corner, which was the very last part. And this whole section right in here had spots that had absolutely no stick at all. And when I say no stick, I meant it was like the blue mist, one inch by one inch parts here and there, everywhere up in the sky. So I took out my Gorilla Super Glue, and I super glued a lot of where the ABs are right here. You can see that they're not, they're, they want to pop so bad. I'm telling you what, I had the hardest, hardest, hardest time with this painting. I had blood, sweat, and tears through this painting, especially when I got, like I said, above the whale's head. It just went downhill from there. It was, it was so hard. But I went over it probably 20 times after I finished it, every inch of it, and pushed diamonds back in, and then I quickly sealed it. And I know you're not supposed to seal a painting if it's from Diamond Art Club because then it ruins the warranty. Look, let me tell you, before I sealed it, I contacted them twice. And the first time I told them, fairly, you know what? I love the painting. I just am frustrated with it. I'm not looking for any money. I'm not looking for, you know, anything. I just want you all to know so that you can be aware that this painting is really difficult. I don't want anyone else to buy this and have the same problems. So they were very kind. Well, yesterday I contacted them because as I got into this corner that I'm focusing on, I was almost in tears. I could not get the diamonds to stick. The super glue was drying before I could get the diamonds in the right place. So I put more super glue. Then the super glue was all over my hands, my fingers, my pen. It was it was just atrocious. And I didn't have any of the diamond dot glue or anything like that. I was so close to finishing. I only had like this much to go. And I had time constraints because I had to pick up my grandson and I really didn't want to, you know, just leave a little part go and then not be able to work on it the next day. So all in all, Diamond Art Club said that they would, um, they were sorry. They were, here's a place they got kind of messed up. I see it in a distance, but it's kind of bubbled right there because I, I had to keep putting more and more glue because there was no glue there. So I'm using super glue right in this area. So anyway, they said that they would send me some canvas glue for any future problems that I might have. So that's that. I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything about it. I'm not complaining, but I thought if there was some sort of warranty, they never mentioned it. I never mentioned it, but I, after all the problems that I had and that I told them that I was having, I would think that they would mention something about a warranty. Maybe it's my fault that I didn't, but I did tell them that after a few conversations that I would be showing this on my video on my YouTube channel, and they said that they would review it with their team and, and 
see if there was anything else they could do. But I haven't heard from them. And honestly, I don't think I will, but I'm okay because it did turn out. I started it August 3rd and I finished it November 1st. I'm just so glad to have it finished. So that's that, everyone. I hope that you have a good rest of the day. It's Thursday afternoon and my birds say hello. Pee wee. That's Pee wee. And Piper's over here, his buddy. And it's a window right in the background. It's just hard to see their beautiful colors. But anyway, we all say goodbye and have a blessed day. We'll talk to you next time.